Hi, we're Future Tech Careers. I'm Matt, this is Lewis, and this is Johnny. The, the uh, problem we do got was the creating a website for teenagers to find jobs in IT. So we've noticed that teenagers have no place to go online to find jobs in IT, and the careers that are, are offered in Barclays. Our aim is to give employers people who are willing to learn and to be trained up in the right way, and hopefully pick up no bad habits. The creation of Future Tech Careers, well, what we did, we linked with local employers, so we got Nutsford Computing together with us, which was our sponsor, and we've got, we're getting the bright, everyone out of sixth form, who would go straight into jobs, they can link up to this website and find local employers. And once we broaden our website, we shall ask, get lo loads of people in London and Manchester, like the big cities across the UK, to link with us on our website. So as we're a company made of young people, we understand that fantastic job opportunities can be hard to get straight out of sixth form or college. And students want long-term investment put into them and not short-term gains. The website will work on both mobile and computer devices, as you will see later. And um, we've also made quizzes such as CV tips and interview skills to help people build up these valuable skills. So the creation of the CV tips will be put on later, so it's like a little quiz that helps us do it. And then we've also put on a like a uh, it's like an interview skills, which gives you a little question in a like a three list, and you can choose which one, and then it will give you like a score at the end on if you've passed or if you're not. And we did that quiz ourselves and put it on the website. So 44% of young people leave sixth form everywhere and enter the job market. They don't go into higher education or university. So they go to many places to find different jobs. Traditional job searching systems don't allow for this kind of thing. They only go for the short-term gain options and not for the long-term investment once again. As for promotion, we're going to try and promote our website on social media sites such as Twitter and Facebook. And we're going to make a funny cat video on YouTube because that's a great way to uh, advertise. And after all, who doesn't like cats? So how we did this, how we created our website, we used a Trello, which is project management system. So if, if Lewis was away, and me and Johnny were away too, and he had uh, something he wanted to express to us, he could upload it to the do section, and me and Johnny would get a notification through an email, and it would tell us what Lewis would like, and we could go onto Trello, and we could like it, or we could even comment on it and say how we want to make it better. Also, we purchased a web hosting package, which we had cPanel attached, so we could code all our own website and upload it. We also got our own domain, so it's futuretechcareers.co.uk, and we uploaded our quizzes and guidance ourselves, which we created. So onto our costs. Our revenue methods are three options. We either go through adverts, through Google AdSense, for about $1 per click, a paid subscription service every month for the users, so any cost up to £5, or a finder's fee where we charge the employer for placing the student in their company of a fixed amount or a percentage of their salary. But our costs as an organisation, if we went into a full business, would be about staff raiders £151 per week, uh, an office space possibly of £3,500 per month, or a web server with expansion costs for over five years, we're talking thirty-one grand with £34,000 up front. So here Lewis and Johnny will hand some iPads and we'll demo the website. So when you load up the home page, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see four of some like substantial like jobs out there and a little brief insight about us. Then as you scroll down, we've got some information about like CV tips or anything. And then we've got some skills here. But every time you load up the website, this bit of text will change. So each like time you come, it's going to be a different experience. So here we have what, what's about us, our different roles. Hannah couldn't be with us today, sadly, so she did help with research, etc. And it just explains about us and what we do as an organisation. This is a career finder, and then down here, if it loads in, there's like a map, and it shows you where jobs are in your local area. Uh, I don't think it's going to load. <laughs> And then here we've got some, some jobs yeah. like, which are available. Some and if you click pages. it, oh, there's a map. So if you click, um, for instance, App Designer, it'll show you a little bit about it, summary, 
and then how, what you have to do to get it and what qualifications you'd need. Yeah. So we have a CV tips page which explains different parts you want to put in your presentation, but for your CV, your cover letter, etc. And this just gives you the key points that you'd want to find out about what you should do in your CV. And then this is the quiz page where it brings a bit of interactive functionality into the website and lets the user try out the quiz and see if they do well or bad. And then if you want to get a question right, then a question wrong so you can demonstrate what happens. So that's what you get if you get the correct response. But then if you go on a question and get like an incorrect response, it'll tell you what you've done wrong and how you can improve it. Which is there. Thanks for listening and any questions? <clears throat> so guys, uh, excellent presentation and uh, a very good idea Thank in my you. opinion. Um, so in terms of the competition that's out there today, um, how have you gone about researching the, the competition and who, who would be your biggest competitor? Uh, we looked around online for different sources, etc. And we also did a survey around our school at Knutsford. And we found that students really want a simplistic style of finding out about jobs, pretty much. And who's your competition, as asked? Uh, we looked at, uh, we got Hannah to do the research and she looked at Munster's website, which really isn't based at teenagers. So there's not much on teenagers, just Munster that do apprentices and further but we like to aim at six formers so they can go straight into a good job. Very good. All right, thank you. So how are you going to drive traffic onto your website? So through the YouTube, we've, we've already created a Facebook account, which is a page and it tells everything about it. We've also done a Google Plus, which tells us, and we've done a YouTube, and we've noticed that cat videos, funny cat videos, that's on the rise. But we'll do, we, we haven't brought the, the storyboard. So what we did, we got a cat that, like, there's a cat workplace and a dog walks in, and wants a job and then they don't give it it, so it walks off and does its own and it creates, goes through this website. So we all, all upload that and that will get views and then it will obviously uh, increase traffic into our website. And if, if you're the first ones with this idea, what are you going to do to stop somebody else coming in and, um, and copying your idea? And uh, we'll keep, away? so on the CV page, so it was quite text heavy. So on that page we're adding a CV helper which is all interactive and it will help you build your CV from there and print it off straight from there and just keep like keep advertising to make sure we noticed. Okay. And long term, do you think looking like three techie geeks is going to help or hinder you? I think that uh, would help us help. because it's a more relaxed environment. It's more friendly. Okay. Okay, so um, you, you say in your pitch that you found the Barclays Life Skills um, not particularly well aimed at your age group, which is which is great feedback actually, and I'm sure the people who put life skills together would be interested in that because they just want to make it better. What's different about your app? So how have you taken life skills and improved it? Uh, so we looked at life skills. It's quite it's quite confusing because we got Hannah to do all the research. So she looked and she thought it's quite confusing in the way you have to move around. So what we've done, we've just done simplicity by adding one bar at the top and just a couple of links down the side, just and the interactive side, which makes the teenager more engaged. And um, you've priced your workforce up at, at minimum wage, so I like the fact that you're using 16 to 18 year olds, so, you, so you're investing in yourselves, you will be a young company, attracting young people into the marketplace. Um, you've priced yourselves up at minimum wage, you've priced your employees up at minimum wage, you're advertising some very well paid jobs in there. How are you going to hang on to your own workforce? So we obviously just at that, so like a starter, because we're like soft, so we don't have much income. So obviously as we increase, we will increase the wages for other people. Right. <coughs> uh, sorry. My, my last question was going to be, how are you going to make money out of it? So how do you make the money back? Uh, so we've got, we're going to Google AdSense and also Spons. We also might do a little fee for people who want to join the website to, to show their, like, their jobs they've got. A small right. fee. Yep. Okay. And if you've got three and a half grand a month for office space, come and speak to me and I'll show you somewhere. I'll probably take your money off you. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a garage. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it, thanks. Guys. Guys. Yeah, uh, so, we don't need to take Well done. And free iPads. I was yeah. just going to comment Thank that you. this this isn't Nutsford's uh, school uniform. The guys have actually put a, a, a special outfit on today. So, do you want to do the full reveal on the T-shirts? Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Not showing your midriff or anything like that. There we go. Oh, they're yours anyway, aren't they? You're going to take them back. <laughs> All right, well done. <laughs>
Nathan, just get a shot of these guys. Go and stand on the middle of the stage there so they can get a quick shot of you with your t-shirts. That's it. In order. <laughs> Very nice. Let's turn around, show them the front as well. Very good. Nice idea. All right, uh, so next.